When World of Warcraft Dragonflight initially launched, there was a whole array of activities that we could do in the two weeks preceding the launch of the raid. For those that have played at the beginning, before Mythic Plus was released, we had two weeks to farm a whole bunch of rares, get our reputations up, and do an assortment of activities, going to Obsidian Citadel and helping the Black Dragonflight by defeating an assortment of rares and doing a bunch of activities, daily quests, and gruesome, gruesome mob grinds in order to get our reputation up and unlock some special items. Or whether you spent your time doing the Cobalt Assembly reputation grind in order to get a very sweet ring. And not to mention the Brackenhide Hollow rare mob grind and a bunch of different world events that would spawn at different intervals, rares across the maps, and all of these things, at least in the beginning, it seemed like a headache. However, there was one very special solution for it, and a lot of people have been hard at work creating weak auras in order to help us track all of these things that we have seen, make the most out of our time in-game. And in this video today, I want to feature something that is going to help all of you be that much more efficient, minimize the downtime, and get your characters up to speed, ready for Raid, Mythic Plus, or PvP launching with Season 2. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Video Bogdan here. This video is going to contain two parts. In the first part, I'm going to share with you a weak aura, and the second part of the video is going to contain three announcements, so stay tuned for that. Let's get right into it. So the creator that I wish to give a shout out to is Tama. He has created this Dragonflight Helper weak aura for season one, and he has also been hard at work creating one for season two. You can find them both on Wago just by typing in Dragonflight Helper, but I will also find direct links in the description of this video. So check them out below if you want to download them and install them for yourself. One is for the four initial areas that were launched and the season two helper is for the new zone coming with patch 10.1. Embers of Neltharion. So in the game, the Dragonflight Helper is going to look something like this. It is going to contain two parts. The Professions module, which is going to tell you, depending on what professions you have, if you have collected all of the rare items that are on the map, what other things you can do in order to increase the knowledge. If you want to disable it, just go to Load and click Never, and it will never load. And then you can go into the Weekly slash Daily module, and over here, you can see a whole bunch of things from events. It's going to give you information such as catalyst charges. What is your renown with different factions? Whether you have completed certain events or not? What is the timer until the next events are going live? Primal storms, a whole bunch of things. Now, for season two, this is no exception. This guy has been hard at work and I cannot emphasize this enough how much I appreciate this. I don't know how to code and this has probably taken him hours upon hours to gather all of the data. You have your weekly to do things at the top of the list over here, right? Breaking grounds and their legacy, the whole things, but you also have a whole bunch of names and these are basically the rares. If you have the Adam Tom Tom and one of these rares is up, they are going to glow on your screen and also the green arrow is going to indicate where exactly you need to go. I think this is one of the most helpful tools that you can use in season two in order to maximize the farm of different items that you will use to upgrade gear, get reputation, etc., etc. in season two. I'm planning on using this week aura for the foreseeable future. If you're planning on downloading the week aura, let me know how that's going to help you. Also, make sure that when you do download it, you use the ones that are uploaded by Tama and you can see here based on his name so that you don't accidentally get the week auras that has been uploaded loaded by somebody else. He actually says in the information that you need to be very careful with this because he is using special code and some other people are grabbing these free weak auras and they're going into the code and they're doing some malicious things. Okay, so now let's get into the announcements. So there are three things I want to discuss with you guys. The number one thing is the fact that there have been no videos uploaded to this channel for approximately 10 days. And the reason for that is because I got very sick. Long story short, I 
son came from kindergarten, chicken pox, and I got it from him. Now, I did have chicken pox when I was a little kid and I confirmed it with my parents. However, after going to the doctor and getting checked up, it seemed that my immune system did not have a great response to it. That's why I ended up contracting it myself and I did a very, I would say, not mild version of it. It was actually pretty bad. A lot of pain in the muscles, a lot of pain deep within the bones, extremely high fever for a number of days. And the reason why you can see that I am so white all over the face, and I'm actually going to kill the picture right here as to how I looked like just a couple of days ago when I could barely even get out of bed. But this is just so you guys know as to why exactly there have been no uploads. I have said this from the beginning that I want to upload as much as possible, as often as possible. It seemed dis disingenuous not to tell everyone what exactly is happening and why is the content not rolling out. The second part of the announcement has to do with the fact that this channel has reached 300 subscribers, and I wanna thank every one of you for that. Look, I cannot express my gratitude enough for every single person out there that has watched the videos and subscribed to the channel. I don't wanna say this. There is a bigger vision to this. There is a, another level to it. Yes, there is a dungeon videos. Yes, you see some of the content, some of the gold making, some of the ideas here and there. And you might see some motivational speeches, you know, in between all of that. And that is pretty much the direction that I wanna go into interviewing some of these people that are putting together events, creating these wonderful games that we all play. But it all has to start somewhere. I have a long vision that is going to take a lot of time in order for it to materialize in the right form. And the best thing that I can ask for you guys is to also give more. I know you're giving a lot. You're giving your time, you're subscribing, you're checking the videos. But there, more of it is going to be needed in the future because I also plan on doubling down on everything that I am doing. And there's going to be additional social media platforms that are going to be launched in order to support what we're building here. And all of these things are going to come together. I cannot promise you that that's going to happen within a couple of months. And I know it's not going to happen within a couple of months, although we have grown quite a lot into the, these two months that we have started the channel in. And this has to do with just the way in which I am built, what I have learned in the past four years of doing business at a very high level. And although there isn't a whole lot to show right now, I know that there's gonna be a couple of you that are going to stick around until the end and you're going to see the growth in steps and you're gonna recognize it and you're gonna go back to this video and to this message and you're going to say, hey, remember when he said that? Yeah, he did that. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. And there's nothing better than putting the message out there, right? Because then if you don't do it, people will call you out. And if you do do it, people are gonna say, hey, he honored his word, so yeah, that's a person I can trust. The third part of what I wanted to share has to do with a very special challenge that we started, the Impossible Challenge, and because of the health issues, I was not able to dedicate the necessary amount of time in order to fulfill it. However, we are still capable of doing Mythic Plus Dungeons this week, so I'm planning a number of live streams that we're going to do most likely daily for quite some time. We're gonna do our very best in order to time every single key on a 20. And I want to show you something that I was able to accomplish last week. After a few of you invited me to a couple of keys, we were able to get on the DK every single one of the season one dungeons timed on a 20. And you can see here by the portals and Last night, we were able to get a Ruby Life Pool 21 timed, which is great. And you can see here also the achievements. It's definitely something that I have not been focused as much as I should during season one, but that is going to improve for season two. And I'm going to be more focused on getting the dungeons done on time on all the tanks instead of just lackluster being all over the place with these things. Well, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found the message genuine and honest. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, check out the first plus 20 key that we were able to time as part of the impossible challenge on the Paladin. And of course, I will see you in the next video.